the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Yeah. Welcome to Pony. Oh my God. <laughs> Good in the head, grandest of risings, or good afternoon, good evening to y'all. It's Lady Kit here again, back with another mod tutorial video for you. Time we'll be taking an in depth look at MCC Command Center and how to read exemption files using MCC last exemption to fix non exemption errors and more. If you haven't already checked out my last YouTube video dealing with mods, Make sure you go ahead and check that. It's very helpful. It's a good one to get started with modding. If you're interested in more Sims content, make sure to like and subscribe. We can stay up to date on the latest upload. This mod that we all use. Okay, probably most of us. I don't want to assume you're simming or you're modding, but majority of us use it is a great mod that helps with UI, helps with maintaining households, but one of its most underrated and most infinite features is the last exemption error code files. Yes, that little orange. You know what I'm talking about. You can also um, use MCC to check your duplicate and if you have any zip files in your mods folder, which is big, no, no. To do this, you just go down to MCC Command Center, the folder in your mods folder. In that mods folder, you will find the MCC last exemption file. You want to open that up with your internet browser. I use Firefox because here you will see each last exemption with a breakdown of who, what, when, where, hi, who, who done it, with what weapon, in what room. Okay, so for instance, you can see my last exams are caused by an object, a broken seat, and a love seat, and a bench. Those two objects. How to use MCC command and how to read it, okay? So what you're going to do is you are going to open up MCC command. All right, and here you'll see a list of things. Under one, you'll see... Um, Okay, so under one module, you will see, um, you know, the last command exemption, you'll see what the exemption is called, what the module is called, what the exemption is called, and what's going on. Here you'll see what's highlighted, get joint transform. It's usually to do something with movement. Um, here, the DBE world, all that transform. This is part of the world bug, so that's how I know that this um, last exemption has to do with that error code that we got, even though we don't understand is under the error call stack you will see which stem is a being affected by it and then under the petty call stack you will see which is being affected by it and my do who chat my duplicates there's a lot of these holy God. the duplicates are easy just copy and paste the file name into your search bar, making sure that you are searching your entire mod folder. So go under your mod folder and then go to your search bar while you're in your mod folder and boom, all your dupes are found. Here's a little message from our sponsors. To avoid the frustration of going and having the thousands of dupes like I have when you are downloading large CC files from either content creators or the CC creators themselves. Make sure that you go through each file. When you unzip that file, make sure you go through each file in there and make sure within each file that there are no zipped files and make sure that there are no duplicates in there. So you want to put them all in one big file, perfectly bunny and move them into the folder and there you will see if you have the dupes or not. Now, make sure all the dupes 
duplicates are removed before continuing to troubleshoot. The first thing we want to do is to figure out if it is a mod or C issue. Organization. So from here, we are going to use the process of elimination until we find who the culprit is. Always a good idea to have a few folders in an update folder, like I told you during my last video, to go through, to help you go through this process. Now, the case error code is by far one of the areas. Okay. This error code, child, when I first got it, I was like, what the heck is this? I went to Google, Google couldn't find nothing. All I know, it was a mod or CC issue, and I knew that because when I removed my mods or CC, this error message did not come up with the game anymore. So what we do is we use MCC command and all the little tools that we figured out how. See, I didn't tell you how. What I want you to do is go through that process of elimination and that fix and figure out whether this is a mod issue or a CC issue. I've done this by moving my mods into my update folder and then start my game. If my game starts up, then it's a mod issue. If my game doesn't start up and it's still generating, generating the error codes, our last exemption that I know is a CC issue. And God forbid if it's a CC issue, child, we've got a lot of work to do. So if it's a CC issue, what I want you to do is, again, employ that 50-50 rule, move half of your CC into a separate folder away from your boss folder, and then start your game. If your game starts up, great. That's not it. If it doesn't start up, then great. You figured it out. You'll keep narrowing down that until you get to your specific package file. Once you've found that specific package file, remove it from your game. Then what I want you to do, sometime, between you finding that package file and you removing it, I want you to remove the entire Sims 4 folder out of your game, rename it Sims 4 Old onto the desktop or something like that. Restart your game, generate a new Sims 4 folder because sometimes in those folders, they will cut, they will keep like um, data from old games in your game cache. So you want to clear that entire folder. You'll start with a fresh new folder. Now that you've identified the problematic C or mod, you've removed it from your game and you've put in your stuff back into your game. Have a clear game now. With no exemption errors, no error message, nothing. You should be able to play your game nice and cool and easy. Unlike me, even though I know how to do all of this, I can't ever play a nice easy game. Also, there's another mod to help with glass exemption files. It's called the Better um, Better Exemption Mods by Twisted Mexi. You can also use that. It helps you read and, and um, picks out the mods and CC that or picks out the mods that might be broken. However, I don't like to use that mod myself because A, it's another mod that I would have to install in my game. Another mod that's gonna have to be updated. Ooh, don't really update. Um, and, Knowing how to read MCC, we already use MCC Command Center for a whole bunch of stuff. It's one less mod that we need to in, um, install in our game. And it's, it's really easy to use once you learn how to read it. There's always help in the Discord. You can go help, uh, yeah, go drop that MCC um, last exemption file in and uh, Getter Pools Discord. And they will tell you pretty much, delete your dupes and tell you what issue it is. Okay, I hope this has been a little bit informational for you. I hope you are liking my YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Give me a comment down below if you'd like to tell me some issues you're having and if you would like me to make videos on that issue, if you would like to see more content from me, make sure you let me know below. I appreciate everybody for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.